Hello again. A nine-year-old KwaZulu-Natal boy has received South Africa's first ever 3D prosthetic hand. Bloemfontein architect Jamie Mitchell designed the prototype hand. Now Mitchell is involved in a project that uses 3D printers to make prosthetics. He joins us live via Skype this morning to tell us how he's done this. Jamie, good morning and well done. And first I want to know from you, when you, when you gave this Spider-Man themed prototype hand, I mean that's any kid's dream anyway, to nine-year-old Apilele Gomere, what was the reaction? It was absolutely insane. Apilele is such a cool little dude and yes, he was excited and me as well, we were all going absolutely fanatic. It's the first time we actually saw that hand close with the kinetic um, any action that it uses. It was really, really exciting. He absolutely went crazy. It was awesome. Okay, so we understand that he, he, he was born without a left hand. So tell us about how you got involved. What was the process of creating this 3D printed prosthetic hand for you? And how long, how, how long did it take you to do this? So after I partnered up with Deloitte UK and Enabling the Future, the guys who started the entire project worldwide, um, and I got a few of their designs and started doing a few test prints, all sorts of freaky stuff, you know, to test out and see how the fingers work. And that's my yo yo. Um, <laughs> like how the fingers actually work and how the rubber bands and everything go. And from there on, we finally made, made a few prototypes. Sorry, I've got my two boxes here with me. Um, here's one of the earlier prints for one of Apalele's arms. Um, one of the testers actually where we noticed that the elbow can break, but yeah, we went through a rigorous, rigorous process, getting the aesthetics absolutely ready, getting the prints ready, making an awesome hand, and then finally getting the working prototype to him. Yeah. Um, I would say it was about uh, 10 hours of printing, two hours of assembly, and about four hours of spray wow, okay. printing. Okay, so, so it, it didn't take you weeks and months to actually do that. Now, my team has asked that you please show us that finger again. It was very quick. We didn't quite get to see it. So just show it to us one more time so we can have a good look at that. Um, fantastic. And, I, and tell me about the Spider-Man theme, though. Is that what he asked you for? Yes, so what happened is on the Easter weekend, um, I actually had a Skype meeting with Apalele and his family and his teachers, and um, yo, we got a bunch of measurements that I wrote down in my idea Bible, and that we yo, got cracking on it. I asked him, you know, what theme does he really like, and he said, he absolutely loves Spider-Man and Superman, and me, myself, also being a massive Spider-Man mm. fan, I decided I'm going to go really crazy into this. So I started doing research on, you know, how the actual Spider-Man suits look in the movies and everything. Everything down to, you know, they add this really cool mesh to the material and the webs and the new Spider-Man logos and everything. So you will see that I added the mesh and everything. We got it really crazy, authentic Spider-Man so that Upper Lele could really love this thing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call on my, on my five-year-old self here and ask you, does it shoot spider webs? I'm actually busy with <laughs> an attachment design that we are going to use magnets to put various attachments to hold pins and all sorts of stuff. And what I decided is for Apalele's hand, it's not yet with this prototype or the next one, but when we start adding the attachments, I promised him I'm going to make him a laser attachment, a flashlight, and a web shooter. All right, Jamie, so is this hand merely aesthetic or is it actually fully functional? It is fully functional. So what happens is um, through the elbow, I've got one of the new prototypes that I'm busy with over here. So through the elbow... I hope you guys can see um, a line runs through this point over here and then there, if you can maybe see there, where the elbow actually bends and then it goes down this pipe. Now, unfortunately, I don't have one of the full hands with me, but then it goes with these fishing lines through the hand all the way down the fingers. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so basically uh, what happens... When the strings tighten, the fingers close. 
Okay, so it's going to take him some some getting used to, I suppose, Jamie. But I mean, it, 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 it's it's fantastic. It's it's completely mind-boggling for those of us who have no idea how to do the simplest of these things. But is this, <laughs> is this something that is affordable? Is it affordable? Is it the way of the future? Is it, uh, you know, is it going to be the way of the future and 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 where uh, people would would be able to access this? 3D printing is really amazing and especially for stuff like these, you know, actually helping people with prosthetics and all sorts of wacky things. It is definitely the future and it is absolutely the way to go because it is extremely affordable, extremely easy to do. And especially with a project like this, um, one of the biggest things from enabling the future and what we're doing is we are making all of our designs open source and completely available to anyone over the world on Thingiverse. And they can literally just download it and print it on the size that they need and they will have a working arm. Fantastic. Um, well done. Well done to you, Jamie. And uh, and I think just giving Apilele that, that new lease on life, I suppose, uh, with this. <laughs> and, and also for being so novel about it with the entire Spider-Man theme as well. Thank you very much for your time and great, great work there. That's Jamie Mitchell. He designed and created that Spider-Man theme prototype hand for nine-year-old Apilele Gomede. 3D printing partner. 3D printing is mm -hmm. how it's made possible. Innovation of the highest wow. order yeah. for good doing